Uh, what's the deal here? I know I can't pinpoint the exact world, but the pendant should have at least picked something up by now. I can't believe I let you talk me into this, young lady. There's no need to worry. I'll take all the blame. Should have never taught you how to use this power. The world is crawling with the undead now, and all because of some misplaced grudge. Ahem. <clears throat> misplaced? I mean... That is... I'll let that one slide this time, old man. But remember who holds the real power here. It... Indeed. Uh, here. These robes should suffice to keep your identity hidden, at least for now. Misplaced. Funny. That word is kind of accurate to my experience, but it won't stop me from getting what I want. Just you wait and see. That sounds like bad news. I hope everything turns out all right. We got Spinal. We're in the world of ruin. We're about to ruin more of it because our strategy is still burn everything that's flammable, which is everything because we have fire pierce. <laughs> all right, let's go. Oh, you're not fully healed. Well, you don't need MP anyway, whatever. Let's go. Tiny skeleton in a big new world. No encounters, nice. This is Firebird, isn't it? Maybe not. Uh, should I get more Phoenix down? Yeah, let's just bring it up to 30. Have plenty of smoke bombs. Let's get 10 tenths. Make it 22. That's what I'm talking about. Remedies. Let's get three more of those. Okay. We're actually shorter on cash than we were before. Uh, just because I made that dumb mistake and bought way too many fire or flame sabers. There wasn't a whole lot of time left to use red, so we didn't get a whole lot of money back. Speaking of flame sabers, uh, we don't need any more. <laughs> Well, those guys are using fire pierce too. <laughs> Let's see, Bard's hat is quickening, which won't do anything for spinal. And we have all this too. I don't think I need anything else. All right, see how that collapsing house goes. I mean, again, I've got fire pierce, so as long as I get good rolls, I should be fine. One atomic ray spinal, really? Come on, man. Yeah, I think I have a ribbon on him right now, so he can't be put to sleep. Skeletons don't sleep anyway. How did I know? One step from the town. Oh, I've seen you. You're no big deal. We got Ken's theme, so bite me. Oh, you know what I didn't even think of? Collapsing house is gonna suck because I forgot about the freaking timer. And Spinal can do a shit ton of stuff in a row. You have fire three, right? You don't. Okay, let's try it with question mark fire first. And if that doesn't work out, I guess we'll learn fire three and we'll just do fire three through the whole house. But yeah, let's just see if this works out. Ridley. Well, that is a fire piercer. And what are they doing in there? Diffusering everyone? Eesh. Uh, I don't think I have any thunder absorbed <laughs> spinal can equip. Uh, this might be bad. Artisan's new. We'll buy one. Fragile weapon. Great. <laughs> All right, let's just get in there and give it a shot. What's up, Ridley? I don't know why you would be helping. Can I run? They can. All right, let's just do fire for this grid. <laughs> oh, man. That doesn't one-shot them. Do it again. Please, multi-target. Ah, fireball. Shit. All right, they're dead. Spinal stop. Spinal stop. Oh, my God. Why now? Yeah, that's the problem. Our timer's gonna get wrecked because of that. Run? I don't know what they are, but I don't want to deal with them. See ya. Perfect spheres. Wing edge, okay. Vanilla wing edge. Cure ring with a question mark. Money, I'll take it. I don't have a way to escape either, except for running. Okay, keep doing elf fire. It's good damage. Or stop there, you know. And now I'm gonna do question mark fire again. This thing's gonna die in one fire cast, but he's gonna sit there and try and do a million things. Flare Star is a long-ass animation. Can we hurry it up? 
Okay, he only did two extra. I hate it when I've got a good skill that just sucks for when you are on a time crunch. Scare the hell out of this kid with my skeleton, man. <laughs> okay, that one runs. That's good. Less targets. Oh, fireballs percentage based, isn't it? Yeah. And he only did one. Uh, oh, fire kills one, I think. I fucking do more than that. Because now I'm going to call this thing in one hit and then I'm going to stop doing or I'm going to keep trying to do stuff. Inhale. Ow. That is not in golf. But that did hurt. Yeah, here we go. Come on, kid. Can we roll? I need to heal. Just elixir. This fight's everywhere. Bye. That should be a one-shot on both, I would hope. Stop! Drainer. Okay. Haven't gotten one yet. Almost out. Just gotta be careful. Preemptive run. I'm never fighting these things so I can help it. <laughs> I don't want to know what they do at all. Green cherry. Sprint shoes. All right, I can do one more of these. Hope I don't get in another encounter on the way out. I hope they don't do that inhale thing either. That did a lot of damage. We got all the treasure. There was no monster in boxes. Let's just get the hell out of here, man. Nice. All right, that wasn't so bad. Just a little hectic because of the repeat skills. What's up, Riddles? So we're gonna have access to our lore and X Magic Fire threes. So. Yeah, Ridley's pretty good. And he can, like I said, he can equip a flame saber. We are continuing the fire theme here. Not the scimitar. Not a million years. Oh, let's check the stuff we just got. Drainer. Uh, nothing new on that. And Cure Ring. Auto regen and auto shell. Nice. All right, Ridley, let's actually get you equipped up. Flame saber. Uh, crystal shield's good. Behemoth suit's great. Let me double check what it's got on it. Can counter, okay. That's better than the fire font, yeah. Give you a Magasad, though, for more damage from your fire threes. I don't have anything reducing MP costs. We'll just have ribbons. And uh, your espers, yeah. Show unicorn. We'll do unicorn because you can counter because of the uh, behemoth suit, and you have Hamido now. That's gonna be really good. And I guess we'll go to Mobla's. Yeah, I think we can take Foon Baba first form, I would imagine. Oh, that's right. Did Ridley ever actually... Yeah, he did learn Fire 3, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just double-checking. No, let's walk around as Ridley. We never do that. All right, let's get up there. I'm kind of sick of seeing these things, if I'm being real with you. <laughs> I love Ridley's chanting sprite, dude. His walking sprite's great. <laughs> the arm swinging, dude. Tell me to meet him. Oh, this is Minwoo. Fuck you, Minwoo. They're dead. Those robes he wears are extremely flammable. <laughs> oh no, not the freaking Zeke Heiling eggs, dude. I can't. Let's go, Ridley. Yeah, the only thing that sucks is that Fire 3 does cost a lot of MP. I would love to get like a 1 MP cost thing soon. Or a gold hairpin, even. Hello, imps. You're lucky you're allowed to flourish in this dimension because there's no swole. Though, you would think there's at least some kind of an imp harvester here because of the guy we saw go into the gate that we came through, but maybe that gate led to a couple of different places and we ended up in a different place. Hello, Pink Squall. Oh boy. Uh, that's not good. Sorry, Ridley. I didn't know he'd have reflect. Oh my god, Spinal. Oh, he's a leper. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> they were a great class in Darkest Dungeon, though. Your tent's a good color, Ridley. It looks like the color it should be, and you don't. You're <laughs> very green. Kind of weird his uh, wings look like ears to me. Oh no, it's Trunks' cousins. At whoop. <laughs> oh no, more reflex. Stop. <laughs> Double fight. Oh, he's like, yeah, okay. Thanks. Ridley. I appreciate it. The SOS warp, my dude. <laughs> He's like, they have reflect, run! Oh, it's a rabbi. Don't have reflect, please. Oh, it's got auto runic. I see. Yeah, he's gonna get auto runic. Yeah. Alright. Let's just physically attack then. There we go. Yes, he's made of bones and you were dogs. I get it. Oh, run! <laughs> Alright, who are we hoping for here? Red, probably. Just so I know where he is and I can go straight here to get him. 
Okay, it's Wycroft. Well, we're definitely leaving him here for a while. <laughs> I have no desire to get my shitty ass Berserker back. No offense, Wygriff. You're still our friend, but yeah. I'll at least save her town for you real quick. You obviously won't be able to, not even just because of story reasons. You couldn't do it anyway. <laughs> this does feel like something Wygriff would do, though, is take care of all these kids, because he's a pretty compassionate guy. Like, that was the whole point of his mission in the Death Corps, was like, that's that's what like made the Death Corps like, split, was because Wygriff understood they were fighting for a future for people that they were fighting for a future they might not even be there to experience. He wanted the next generation and the generation after that to be equal and the world, the, like the power dynamics to change and everything. And that's what made Wygriff like an awesome leader, except that he had people in his movement pissed off. Like They're like, oh, you're going to send us to our deaths. And for what? Nothing that we get to see immediately? Like, yeah, that was Wygriff's whole thing. He mentioned like the children and the children's children's future, you know? He was a good guy before the religion turned him insane and he became a demon. <laughs> Honestly, it all started with Maluda's death. Like, when Maluda died, he that's when he freaking went really, really insane. And then Velius took that anger that he had towards Ramza, took advantage of it, and turned him into a Lukavi. You could really tell, like, I think I said I mentioned this in my tactics playthrough, like, you can really tell, you can tell the moment that Wygriff has, like, lost his way is when he says, I don't give a damn about Maluda's death, because that's bullshit. That was not him talking at that point. Hello, bear. <laughs> Good luck, Wygriff. Yeah, you're done for, buddy. <laughs> Bet you wish you had that airy stone now, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go. Hello? Why do you look like a weird, mangled version of Heifer from... Rocco. Oh, that's what I see. This is interpretive art right here, okay? <laughs> Fire threes. Let's go. Don't have reflect. I will kill you. I don't know how I'll kill you if you have reflect, but I'll do it. Yay! My god, the damage. Let's go. <laughs> I don't want to imagine watching that thing run away. <laughs> Alright, have a nap, Wygriff. We'll be back for you later. Much later. <laughs> he might be the last person we come and get. Golem Magisite. Well, let's check that out. Discordant, Niha, Niho Paloha, and Time Font. Okay, uh, let me... <laughs> hold on. Niho... Niho Paloha. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what that word means. But I'm going to look up the, uh, junction sheet to see if anyone else knows what it does. I think no one's figured out what Discordant does yet, right? Yeah, nobody knows what Discordant does. Alright, Niho Palawa allows the user to inflict statuses with options that would normally heal those statuses. Huh. So... Interesting. So if someone equips this and I was to like, I don't know, antidote an enemy, would it poison them? Interesting. So I could... Hmm. Wowie, that might be worth trying at some point, because that's really cool. It says with options that usually heal those statuses, so could that include items? So if I, like, equip, equip this on somebody and I threw a soft on an enemy, would it petrify them? This is going to be fun to test. I can't wait to figure out who can use it. Neato, dude. Also, we have time font, and nobody knows what constitutes time magic, I guess. Maybe for time font, it would be like, okay, uh, Demi would do like three quarters health or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That is speculation as hell. We're getting ready for a chocobo ride. <laughs> With our skeleton man on a bird, dude. So speaking of a skeleton man, <laughs> in lieu of our chocobo ride, while we're riding, I'm gonna put up something. I came up with this uh, during Halloween. The bar I go to had a skeleton man sitting at the table. And I was there waiting for my buddies to show up and I had my guitar and I was just messing around and I came up with a song about him on the spot. So <laughs> it's the perfect uh, ode to Spinal here. Uh, so yeah, I'll put that up right here while I'm running across the plains. Check it out, man. Skeleton Across from me, why do you smoke so many cigarettes? 
I put my hat upon your head Cause I think it makes you look a little better Of course it doesn't help with the fact That you're gonna look much deader You don't wear any fucking pants And I don't see a fucking shirt What the hell are you doing here, man? You should be buried in the dirt As long as you're here, won't you have a beer? And we'll talk for a little while of course you're not gonna say too much, but I sure like your style. Skeleton man across from me, I got a boy I gotta pick with you. If you were offended by that, all I gotta say is fuck you. Skeleton man across from me, gonna pick that bone alright. You're gonna get so drunk with me, we're not gonna make it through the night. My favorite part of that is you don't wear any fucking pants and I don't see a fucking shirt. <laughs> There's something about that. I was just observational lyrics, you know. Alright, we're in Nikia now, so let's check some shops. Haven't seen a fl Thunderblade yet, and that's got a question mark on it. Flunder? Fl fl Thunderblade? That's funny because my mom tells me when I was a little kid and I used to call Thundercats Thundercats. Like, Mom, I want to watch Thundercats. <laughs> Proc Bolt and Better Steel. Okay. Interesting. Better steel doesn't really help me in this run. <laughs> Ooh, both fail. Gold Mage! Yes! I love Gold Mage. I'll buy Diamond Armor, too. Alright, hang on a minute. Let me check something. Okay, Spinal and Ridley. Uh, it's probably good to use on Ridley. We'll use our money to cast those Fire Threes instead of MP. Hell yeah. That was a great find. And what's the Diamond Armor doing? Double EXP. Wowie. Both fail time, buddy. Bam. You are going to now be Gold Maged which is so nice. So we're gonna be spending, what, 51 bucks a cast? So actually 102 bucks a cast? That's not bad at all. It makes so much sense for Ridley to cast uh, magic with money too, because he's a thieving space pirate. He would have a lot of it. There's a regular ass Zephyr cape. Oh, our sneakering has wind font. All right, so we're getting guts here, which we'll have uh, our bolt. I guess that'll be okay. Not as good as fire would be, but, you know. Wait, he has a, does he have a magic command? I don't remember if he had a magic command or item command. I guess he would be hunting down a uh, an apostle, because the tentacle monster at the bottom of the Figaro castle. He's fought plenty of tentacle monsters before. <laughs> Yo, look at the stance. I haven't seen that stance from him before. Back turn holding the frickin' Dragon Slayer? That's killer, dude. Guess we'll check some Sal Figaro shops too, why not? Um, we only need two pairs of running shoes to avoid the seas, so that's fine. Gold hairpin. Gale hairpin, sorry, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, how are you selling a gold hairpin for 22k? Alright, I don't need the gale hairpin. <laughs> I really wanted a gold hairpin, so much so that I misread <laughs> the shop. You know what kills me is, uh, his overworld spray actually kind of looks like George from, uh, Sakodin. And he just stood on the roof for a second. Did you see that? I wonder if that always happens. That might have just been the first time I've ever noticed it. I like how when I turn, it looks like Spinal has a butt crack on top of his head. <laughs> He's literally a butt head, dude. Well, there's a trident. What's it got? Wind boost. What's with all the wind stuff? I'll buy one. Decent weapon for uh, guts, I guess. Diamond helm. Resonate? I mean, I'll buy it. Let me check the thing again. Resonate. Trade status effects between target and attacker whenever a unit with this attack with this attacks or is attacked. Oh, it's almost like the uh, Pokemon ability synchronize, but I have to hit them to trade it. That's cool. Wait, wait, it doesn't does it actually trade? It trades it? Trade status effect between target and attacker. So it's like a Rippler attack. Can you equip that spinal? You can. Uh, I guess that's fine. We'll try it out. See what happens. Uh, you don't have a permanent status, right? No, no, no. And I guess we... Actually, that'll work really well with him because he doesn't have a, uh, an abil a way to get statuses. So, no, wait. That won't be good with him then. He's got a ribbon on. Whatever. Just put your uh, circlet back on. Okay. Might be interesting to try later. All right. Into South Figaro Cave. I'm gonna see that... Uh... <gasps> 
dinosaurs named Clemus. Go away, dinos. Go away, dinos. Burn for it. Burn for it. Oh, thank you. I don't know why I had a feeling they were going to wife three there, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see that Siegfried scene this time and not get attacked during it, I swear. Yeah, dude, look at the MP cost. Like, it's nothing. I love Gold Mage so much. It's pretty much just as good as an Economizer. Like, it's basically free. Because, look, I'm gonna cast Double Fire 3 here. It cost me, like, what, 102 MP or something? And we make money back 3000 yeah it's basically an economizer man it is also nice that fire 3 is a quick cast animation too yeah how much money are we actually down okay 19614 let's see the net after the next battle we're 19k 19614 elvane all right i don't care about elvane i'm going to hit him with double fire threes okay dead let's see how much money we have now yeah we didn't even go yeah we we gained money <laughs> Cold Mage is awesome, dude. Oh, what, what? I could also... Never mind, it's our lore. I was sitting here like, lore list. I could just be grand training. Yeah. <laughs> How are we both at the same HP right now? That's crazy. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, man, nothing can stand up to the flames. On the hum, let's go. Okay. So, th that was it. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, Kafka heads. Seen you guys before. And know you'd back attack me though. Oh my god, dude, the damage. With physical too. Well, it's a flame saber and we have a fire pierce and fire boost. So I get okay, he's just gonna counterattack and kill all of them. He didn't even need this fire three. He's countering and homidoing, so yeah. Two instances of a chance to counter. Ridley's really, really good right now. <laughs> what the hell, man? What's up, Leggy? Dude, what's with all these buttholes down here? I warned you. How'd you know this was gonna happen, dude? <laughs> Happens every time. Sorry, man. Uh, this is still like the best place for you to go, but yeah, this always happens. Well, can you, can you like, uh, I hate to ask. Yeah, we'll take care of the buttholes for you, dude. All right, let's save Leggy. <laughs> More Kafka heads. They're all attacking Spinal now, cause they're like, I don't want to get counterattacked. Oh, too bad. <laughs> kind of cool that there's Kafka heads here, and it's the Kafka Tower music. They're all dead, right? Yeah, good job, Smile. Break Blade, we already had one. Crystal Helm, did I have a Crystal Helm? I did not. Damage Split, Gold Mage, SOS Rabbit? Is that SOS Ice Rabbit? That's pretty good. This has Gold Mage on it also. Ridley can't equip it, that sucks. I would've put that on him. Spinal can, but I don't know about the Damage Split. Let's look again at what Damage Split exactly does. If damaged but not killed, the user will deal one-third of damage taken in return. Okay, so damage split's okay. This sh that we should put this on Spinal, I think. Screw your faith. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, because then if he doesn't die, he'll just do extra damage back, I guess. Nice. No monsters so far in boxes down here. Oh, it's the uh, thing that's in the um, garden in Breath of Fire 2 that Rand has to beat up. It's also dead, my god. Sniper. Just a reg regular ass sniper, huh? No cool thing on it? No. Same with the wing edge. Just regular. Sniper's a damn good weapon, though. Who can equip it? Spinal can equip it. Uh, but he has to have the flame saber for fire pierce. Maybe if we ever get off of the fire train, <laughs> we'll use the sniper. So I guess we have to running shoes here. Yeah, I don't want to get seized. Let's just running shoes. And let's heal here. Where'd you get all that HP, Spinal? Damn. I think this is gonna be easy. Cuts is like, oh, I'm used to this shit. Let's go, man. And Breath of Fire 2 music, too. It's a hashtag save the rollies, dude. You bastard, you've already commandeered one. Poor little fella. All right, let's go. Arbol. Why not? Plasma? Double fire three, question mark fire. I think this is gonna go really easy. Okay, I'll fire. Oh, that was all he did? That sucks. That's not muddle. <laughs> okay, Guts is seized. Can't help that. Got no running shoes. Dude, he's even trying to, like, he seized Guts, too. Like, what the hell, this guy? Yeah, it really sucks we had to kill that Rolly along with the freaking imp. Rollies are an oppressed species because of those damn imps. 
Dude, yeah, this this was so easy. Oh my god. <laughs> this fire pierce shit is so good. Alright, well welcome back, Guts. I'm gonna equip you up, but you're probably not gonna do much compared to the rest of us. <laughs> Your R bolt will come in handy, but it's not as good as Fire Pierce, man. We I think really we lucked out with the fact that we got something teaching Fire 3. Uh, if we hadn't gotten that, like, what would we be doing? Like, fire? I think that's the next spell that Ridley has. Spinal having question mark fire is good, but, like, just the fact that we have an, a piece of equipment that's teaching fire three, which I'm gonna give to Guts right now, because that'll make him... Can he equip a f flame sa Oh my god! <laughs> and we'll give him the Imp's armor for the fire font. Yeah, give him the diamond helm for resonate. Let's go ahead and re-equip our ribbons here. And then, Guts, you're gonna have the dragon horn. Start learning fire three. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're seriously, like, ruining the whole- the, everybody's, uh, skills. Like, he's never gonna use our boulder or wild after this. It's gonna be fire three all day. What the hell was it that was giving me SOS rabbit and stuff? Yeah, it's the crystal helm. Uh... Damage Split, Gold Mage, SOS Rabbit. I think I take that off of Spinal. I give that to Guts, and then once he learns Fire 3, he'll be able to Gold Mage just like Ridley with it. Wow. Dude, <laughs> that is unreasonable. What kind of Esper should you have? Starlet is just teaching Fire 3. Well, let's just do that then. Esper Defense J, SOS Life 3. So take the Dragon Horn off, put a ribbon on. Oh, I don't have another ribbon. Uh, how about running shoes then? There you go. And running shoes, SOS morph. Okay. Yeah, we'll just learn fire three that way. So Guts is being turned into a fire mage too. This is all fire mage stuff. I could just equip the fire three Esper on Guts and the dragon horn and he'll learn it like twice as fast. I'm pretty sure it stacks. Let me uh, double check that real quick. Fast is he learning it from Starlet? Times four. And then the dragon horn is times two. Okay. Let me just equip that on you for now, then. We'll just double up on learning Fire 3 as fast as possible. Hey, uh, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem there, Legi. Yeah, those Kefka heads were the worst. They just freaking stayed up all night cackling and couldn't sleep, man. Well, get you some rest then, buddy. All right, take care, man. Yep, I'll see you later. <sighs> Let's check these shops real quick. May as well. Um, uh, nope, don't really need any of this. Not the other side. A uh, whole lot of tools that we can't use. And it's our ring ring. <laughs> oh, it's Birdo. Get it out of here. Oh my god, dude. This borderline, this borders on being too good. How close are you to Fire 3 there now, buddy? 24%? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna get Sindel, right? Well, there's at least one character that can buff us. What's up, lady? Yeah, good to see you too. <laughs> Is there any way Sindel can use fire? <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me yes. I think she had a magic command, right? She had our party, our element, and magic or item. Actually, the bigger question is, can you equip a flame saber? You cannot. So there is no fire pierce for you. So even if you can use fire, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. You have a gold hairpin innate, though, so we should probably start teaching it to you anyway. Here, we'll stop doubling up on uh, guts then. I thought I was doubling up on guts. This is what I mean about the combined relic menu, is I forget which character I'm on, so I accidentally had given Spinal the freaking dragon horn when I meant for Guts to have it. Alright, Sindel. Dragon horn. And yeah, Bone Club's fine. Buckler... Uh, wait, wait, is Bone Club fine? Madwin proc and fight into our lore. Got it. So, yeah, sure. Alright, yeah, start learning that. Let's see your espers here. You can equip Golem! Neo Bello. All right, so let's see. You don't have any healing ways to heal. Oh my God, you with our party with Golem is bad. <laughs> I just realized, um, because if I our party and it was like to give us all haste, it would probably do slow. You know what? Let's test it. I want to see what happens. I'm interested to know. Let's check the shops real quick. But yeah, I want to see what happens. I right, diamond shield for her. Here, put this on, lady. Ooh, enhancer for red, huh? Uh, I'm selling for an enhancer. You better believe it. Let's just sell eight flame sabers. There we go. Give me an enhancer. Magic power up. What else is it doing? Because if it's just for red, it might be a command changer. Prox wave cannon, our beast into our death. <laughs> okay. If red wants to take the dark path and put his Pokemon away for a while, he could do that. I like the wave cannon, Brock. That's cool. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go check and see if this 
junction affects our partying, my own party. Let's see if it has the opposite uh, status effect that it would give us. Okay, haste too, so this should slow us then, right? No, it looks like it hasted us. Maybe it doesn't work with our party. Right, and she does not have item. Wait, wait. Oh, she got stopped by an enemy, okay. I'm sitting here like it didn't do that to her, right? I don't think that works with our party. I guess we'll keep going on until she learns that stuff, but all right, let's tent up. Well, wait, let me get closer to the, yeah. All right, yeah, now let's tent. Oh, look at the little bone on top of this. I didn't even see that. Nice. There's something poetic about taking a pile of bones into the tomb. In fact, wait a minute. Only one character on this team is technically not dead, <laughs> and that's Guts. Yeah, Ridley has been killed a couple of times and come back as Meta Ridley. Sindel is undead, and yeah, Spinal is dead, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Could be anything lurking down here, like skeletons? I think we're gonna be the scariest thing down here, Sindel. Just a hunch. Alright, well, let's our party. Screw it. Our bolts. Ooh, zone seek. We'll take it. Nice. Gig vault. Oh, single target. Thanks, Guts. I'll well, clean it up with Fire 3, of course. <laughs> and no one was surprised. Crystal mail. I had that, didn't I? No. Imp harvest! There are Imp Harvesters in this seed. Wait a minute. Are the Imp Harvesters gone? Because this is in a tomb. By the way, Abyssinum, thank you so much for the Two-Tone Tony reference in Beyond Chaos. This means a lot to me, for sure. I knew that this junction existed, but I don't know what it does yet. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Let's look it up and see if there's any info on it. No one knows what Imp Harvest does yet. We have to figure out what it does then. We have to. Guts, Gaff, Trunks, and Ridley. Guts, I think this is gonna be on you, man. Yeah, let's let's just put it on Guts. Let's see if we can get it to work. I think we're gonna have to find imps in order for us to figure out what it does. Crystal sword? Okay. Yeah, man, this sure looks like uh an imp harvester's tomb. It's the Genji shield. Heal sink. Okay, well that's not great. Mantra, cool. Yeah, I have to figure out what that junction does, man. <laughs> Maybe it procs Imp Harvest. Like, you attack and it does Imp and then Harvester. We're gonna we're gonna put in a significant amount of time trying to figure out what it does, for sure. If this is the tomb of an Imp Harvester, though. Maybe this is just the tomb of a lot of Imp Harvesters. I, we're gonna have to discover the history of this timeline, I guess, when it comes to the Great Imp Harvest. Maybe they lost the war with the Imps in this uh, dimension. No one seems to know what an Imp Harvester is anymore. So what we found out here, we found the equipment that the Imp Harvester used, right? We got a crystal sword, a Genji shield, and a piece of uh, diamond mail or crystal mail. That sounds like something one would use. Yeah, this is just like a mass grave. Maybe do our party and get taped while well, they'll be dead before I get around to Sindel's turn. <laughs> There's gonna be too much fire going off. And bolt edges. Nice. Guts. I hope this gargoyle isn't related to Firebrand in any way. I'll feel bad. Bam! Let's just check this one over here so after I check that one I can tend. Hespert! Oh, we don't get to run from you this time. You run the floating continent. I haven't actually fought you yet. Well, oh, you can burn like everything else. Keep going there, Spinal. Nice! Twelve frickin' magic points? Do you have Fire 3 yet? No, not quite. I think Guts does now, though. Yeah. So now you need to have a flame. You have a flame saber. Okay. We just got Dark Gear. Have I seen that yet? Magic Tower plus one fourth. Uh, Firebrand Spinal Trunk Sindel. Yeah, has some better magic power there. Spinal, that'll help. Doom darts. Okay. Tent up. There's a little bone sticking out. <laughs> I don't know whose grave this is. We'll have to find a scholar once we get out of here and learn about this tomb. Because Daryl obviously isn't buried here. Alright, dual hand. What do you got? Reflect question mark? Good for you. Oh no, he's got reflect! Uh, we're just gonna die now, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that sucks. Um, so we're gonna have to bounce off of somebody, right? Let's try and bring our characters back real quick, I guess. Oh, Bolt 3 also. Okay. 
We're just gonna reset and set this back up here. Okay, so I need somebody with a wall ring, I think. Send I'll take the dragon horn off. Let me see, what was the wall ring doing? Fight into our lore? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll give her the wall ring. We'll bounce everything off of her to hit him. That should go a little better, I would think. Oh, crap. Sindel. I didn't even think about that. Um, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's not the worst thing that could happen. Doesn't remove reflect, at least. Because it's a wall ring. Double fire three. Uh, can't question mark fire, though. Because it'll reflect. So I gotta fight with Spinal, I think. What do you do, Sindel? Question mark element? Train now, too. Great, dude. Bounce one fire three off Sindel and one off Ridley. Now, if Guts was reflected, he is reflected right now. Um, we actually get reflect boost because of the armor he's got equipped. Because remember, it has reflect boost and uh, imp harvest on it. But let's try bouncing off of Guts. So 895 off of that reflect. 872 off of Ridley's Reflect. Wait for Ridley to come back around, and let's do it off of Guts and see. He doesn't have Reflect anymore. Does anybody have the Reflect spell? Uh, Ridley does. So let's Reflect Guts and then Fire 3 off Guts. Alright. Reflect Boost. Yes, it does more damage when it's bounced off of... <laughs> Reflect boost, nice. Train, okay, that's fine. Ridley won't get hit by that. Yeah, we're just gonna keep bouncing double fire threes off of guts here. That'll probably be the best way to do damage. X fur. By guts. Damn it. Okay, well, shit. Uh huh. He tried to SOS warp. Oh god, nobody has life either. Ridley's dead. Okay, well, we're pretty much doomed, right? Nice ice rabbit, Sindel. You're on your way to being a Pokemon trainer, I promise. Ice three. Spinal's gonna die soon. Well, we got Golem we can put up at least. Ew, the screaming chanting sprite. Ew, I hate it. I block some physical attacks at least, and we're reflected now. He shouldn't be able to do damage to us, period, at the moment. I mean, I could R lore and hope for grand trains and crap. Oh, there's a big guard. That's good, too. Actually, I shouldn't do our lore because I could get Exploder, and then we have no way to do damage because Sindel is currently the only way we're really doing damage. Uh, question mark element, why not? Oh, because he's reflected, that's why not. Well, S-Cross will do damage, I think. Okay. Magnitude 8. And it healed him. Well, at least she did two spells that can't be reflected. That's good. She can't really do anything right now. So defend. It's all on Spinal to physically attack now. We could technically win here. He's got regen, though, that's healing him 200 to expert. Okay. Yep, there we go. That's it. If that kills Spinal, it's over. Yeah, we're done here. Okay. Kind of a ridiculous task we got here. Uh, let's go ahead and take the wall ring off of you. You can have your dragon horn back. Actually, yeah, you can have your dragon horn back. You still have our lore, don't you? I think I'd rather equip you with something else. Have some doom darts. Because I don't I want to be able to attack with you. And then Guts should have the wall ring because he's got uh reflect boost. So yeah, he's always gonna have wall. Spinal, let's see here, buddy. Maybe we give you the uh, sniper now, because you're not going to be using question mark fire, because that thing has reflect. Uh, Ridley will be using fire. Uh, Guts will also be using fire if he ever gets a turn to do it. That's going to do, I think. Hi, I was not ready to fight you yet. Take your pearl back, I don't want it. And then Guts fires it yourself. Bang. Nice. All right. Yeah, we're finally going to get to make use of Guts's uh, magic stat because it's 52. Mutants. Okay. Sindel has fire three now. Okay. Let's just see what happens. Okay, well, Guts is going to get hit by that. So that sucks, but it'll be okay. Doesn't get rid of his reflect. Does get rid of his ability to cast magic, which blows. But... Yeah, Spinal has the sniper now, so he can start attacking that. It really sucks that Sindel does not have an item command. In fact, nobody has an item command, do they? Ridley has an item command. I can at least echo screen Guts, but he won't 
get to do it before the fire three is going off. Yeah. How did you do it? You're silenced. Your silence just wearing off that fast? Well, Ice 3 is gonna do damage to him. Yeah, that's not good. The other thing that sucks is I don't know how we're gonna actually heal. <laughs> so we kind of have to just go and hope we out damage him before we die because I don't have a way to heal. Spinal would be great if you chucked that sniper at him. Oh, we should golem. Because why not? Nice Hamido. In between fire threes, I think. Yeah. <laughs> cool. We do have a way to heal with Starlet if we have to. We don't have a way to bring anybody back except with Ridley. So if he decides to X for and he hits Ridley, we can't bring anyone back after that. We're doing pretty good damage with these fire threes. We could attempt in our party, but there's a chance that'll bounce something. Let's try it. If we get Big Guard, that'll be great. If we get Ice Rabbit, that'll be good. Corinne, okay, we'll take Regen, that's fine. Let's kind of healing, I guess. Hey, there's a way to heal. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Your innate reflect betrayed you. He did the cure three, so he's probably almost dead. Cool Mystodon sprite, by the way. <laughs> Send hell, stop. <laughs> but, 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 but. I'm gonna guess you're dead after these two fire threes. Yeah, only took one, in fact. Nice. Well, okay, man. We successfully cleared all of the uh, demons out of this Imp Harvester's tomb. I guess we're going to have to go find a scholar somewhere and see. We can learn some freaking history about this dimension, even though we'll be leaving it eventually, I hope. You know who might know a lot about it? I'm sure there's a Carl in this dimension, and I'm sure he likes telling stories. We'll ask him when we get to the Velt Cave, which we might do as soon as we can, because I would love to have Fanatic. And check it out. It looks like... Oh, not quite. It looks almost like the Vanilla Falcon. It's a little bit too pink. You guys? Good. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of this episode. Next one's gonna be our big huge one where we get all of our characters back. So, look forward to that. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Peace!